three reasons to talk about mental health this Feel Good Friday. In today's video, I look at some positive initiatives inspired by Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. Mental health used to be a taboo subject, but thankfully things are changing. This week was Children's Mental Health Awareness Week, and up and down the country, people found interesting ways to engage with young people about the issue. This week's theme was expressing yourself and encouraged young people to find ways to share feelings, thoughts or ideas through creativity. As one in six young people have diagnosed mental health issues, figures from the NHS, we must encourage open and honest discussion. Here is a rundown for people of some of the ways people shared that message this week. Super smooth music legend Billy Ocean and Youth Voices, the world's largest school choir, released a cover version of Bill Withers' classic tune, Lovely Day. Profits from sales of the singer will go to Place to Be, a brilliant mental health charity that provides counselling services in 600 schools across the UK. Expect to hear from YV and Mr Ocean later in the year when they attempt to set a new Guinness World Record for the largest simultaneous sing-along at multi-venues. The current record was set by YV in 2005 when over 293,000 singers at 1,616 venues sang Lean On Me. YV hopes to smash this record on 15th of June in mass sing-along streamed live from the O2 Arena in London. <music> Schools across the UK mark Children's Mental Health Awareness Week in all sorts of ways. Pupils at Norbridge School in Worksop, Surrey enjoyed guided meditation while youngsters at Gwenvo CW Primary School in the Vale of Glamorgan took pleasure in walking and climbing in the great outdoors. Meanwhile, in Inverness, a new service launched called Mikey's Line it provides support to secondary school pupils who are struggling with difficult thoughts and feelings. <laughs> Two sporty brothers who recognise the vital role physical activity plays in warding off depression and anxiety hosted their own virtual Olympics this week. Ottavio and Dario Tanzillo, competitive swimmers who work at Northampton Primary School, hosted a virtual Olympics on their YouTube channel, Tanzi TV, this week. In a series of light-hearted videos, the brothers clad in superhero costumes and onesies demonstrated boxing, hurdling and fencing. They aim to get kids, many of whom have become more sedentary during lockdown, up and moving. Scientists have long recognised the link between a healthy body and a healthy mind and say regular exercise increases self-esteem, reduces stress and improves concentration. And finally, a quick book recommendation. If you'd like to learn more about young people and mental health, get your hands on a copy of Take My Hand by Pat Sower. Pat is a former head teacher and campaigner whose son Don battled mental ill health. You can also follow her on Twitter at pat underscore sower. Visit placetobe.org.uk to donate to Place to Be. From all of us here at Love M44, thanks for watching, stay safe and take care. <laughs>